Hi. Hold on. I accidentally hit play, but I'm ready to go. Hold on. Okay. I just had to finish writing that. Okay. It's a piece of mail. <laughs> it's a piece of mail. Okay. But we're going to throw, we're going to do um, Ganesha. Okay. So the first card is your past. It is a lesson that you learned. Okay. Um, or leading up to this moment. Okay. Card number two is your current scenario. Okay. It's also what you're learning, what's going on, present moments. Okay. And it's also the next month or two of energy. And then I shouldn't have used <laughs> the, the maca with the shoppy like that. Sorry, you can barely see it. And then your current future is card number three and what you may need to bring to a situation in order to get the desire. But that's that's if there's some type of desire within card number three, okay? But it's, it's your near future, okay? So, just so you guys are aware, it's your current past, possibly a lesson within the past, okay? Um, card number two, again, what your current scenario is, card number three, near future. Your near future could be in three days, guys, but it might be something you need to work on for a couple months. This is how you want to look at this, okay? So let me talk to Ganesha real quick. So let's, let's add Ganesha for the next... Let's add Garnisha to the mix. Okay. He's missing his necklace. scenario what you've currently learned up to this moment card number two current situation and this can go for the next month or so of energy just depends on how long it takes for you. Card number two, please. Current situation. Card number two. Card number three, near future, which could even be tomorrow. Okay. So, at the bottom of the deck, you got beginnings, new beginnings, okay? So, card number one, this is something you've been through up until this current moment, okay? Innocence. This is seven, so you're on a, you're on a path, okay? Innocence. This card's actually been coming up, too. This is the card that has the, um... The Pyamanthus, okay. It's actually one of the cards that came out in today's read about the, the Binky situation, okay. So, innocence. The simplest gestures of love and respect can prevail even in the toughest of the hearts. In this card of lightness is an aura that surrounds Ganesha that betrays innocence. By being soft and still, and what you're going to give to the universe, and what opportunity you have, and what you're going to create and assist with your desires. You need to be willing to release. You have to notice you're becoming awfully critical at this time. As you gather more experience, sometimes with the unfamiliarity or the familiarity of a situation will cause you to lose touch with your own innocence. 
it is only natural to expect similar outcomes, the things that have to do with the past because they're similar situations. But don't forget through the change and transformation, there's always possibility. You are being offered an opportunity to approach this situation of a renewed peace. If you're making changes with your job situation, relationship, or even direction of your life, your path, your approach of sense of exploration and excitement, the curiosity of a child, you've got to be willing to let go of preconceived ideas in order to develop over time within your mind. Allow your heart to be centered with the place of peace. Everyday Ganesha is the guidance to renew your mind and refresh your thinking. What Ganesha assistance to complete each situation that's encountered. Ask Ganesha to support you. Remember to pray for your freedom from fears, worries, and un unhealthy obsessions that might control your thoughts and, uh, and harm your soul. Be accountable for your own decisions and the results. Just know that your responsible will resist you, assist you to take these decisions seriously in a greater consideration. So up until currently, into this moment, you or someone around you, however this works for you, right? It, there was an opportunity. It's not saying the opportunity is gone. It's saying it can definitely be renewed. Okay? It's, it's, it's just refreshing how you think, too. Because this current situation, it, it, it's still here. Okay? So it's like... It's a renewed peace, whatever situation this is. Yeah, definitely there's cynicism here, for sure. Okay? It needs to be released. Um, and it's definitely critical on, on how you're thinking right now and what experience is your situation. So basically, you know, the, there's innocence. There's, it's here. But this is also basing stuff that, that happens in your past because the situation is so familiar. All right, but don't forget through change and transformation, it's possible, okay? So there's, that's still currently here because it's leading up to this moment, but this is current. This is current. what needs to be worked on, all that stuff, okay? So we got insight, and that's beautiful because th that, that makes a lot of sense because the Ace of Swords has been coming out like crazy. So this is your inner compass, the key to your true happiness. Ganesha is focusing on your attention of the third eye. He's acknowledging that you're in a phase where you can grow and expand your consciousness, your intuition, the voice of spirit and soul. It can be heard in a state of calm. You have the ability to turn into something strong, definitely clear communication. The guidance you received for the divine can always be trusted. The intuitive insights to receive the spark of all things that are directly affecting your life right now. Relationships are personal progress. You may find that your intuition is growing and becomes clearer. As you tune in and follow, the more clear it is, especially with your third eye and the energy space of your intuition be more clear and you can use it every day. Indigo blue is the color of the third chakra. When the third chakra is in balance, it's self-realization. You will find life within harmony and expand the true self with people you interact with in your life. This does not mean that you will never have problems, but rather look at them in a different perspective. You may find that you are charismatic, charismatic empathic, and highly intuitive. You are intelligent with good imagination and accurate perception as well. So, I, I don't, you guys might start to get anxiety. This this card gave me anxiety for some reason. I think, you want to know why? Because I think you're fully aware of your situation. For the next couple months, it, something's so clear. It's saying go ahead and work on it. Trust it. Whatever's going on in your personal life, relationship, or progress, use that intuition. It is clear right now. Trust it. So basically, what whatever's going down in the next couple months, they're asking you to trust it. This is your compass to true happiness. So it's building upon that type of foundation. Okay? You want the harmony that you seek? You need to expand your true self and the people that you interact with on a daily basis. Okay? It's a lot of trust here. That opportunity is still here too. So, are you calling me? What? In five minutes. Card number three, near future. This is also, you know, the current situation too. And it, there might be a desire in it too. So you have acceptance. Let's take a sip. 
So, acceptance. There is great freedom in accepting things and how they are. You cannot move forward in your path until you release some of your blame, anger, and sorrow that you've collected on this life's journey. Ganesha is asking you to forgive those who in the past who have hurt you and be willing to forgive yourself too. Open your heart to the world outside and the one within. The deepest state of recognition, oh, sorry, recognition and acceptance is what pushes you forward in this spiritual adventure. Love without judgment and love with predetermined opinions. Accept and express yourself. The ego is being aligned with the soul. What a relief. You don't have to control anything or fix everything or know everything. If you have been overly serious and tense, you can now start to remember happiness. You may find yourself laughing instead of getting infuriated. Your contentment in life improves dramatically when you harness your ability to look at the world from a new spiritual perspective. The image of Ganesha is holding a banana is symbol symbolizes symbolizes humanity in the awareness of not taking place in the importance of your thoughts or beliefs of a situation. His pot pot belly signifies the bounty of the nature. And it is said that Ganesha consumes the sadness of the universe and will protect the world. Learn how to honor your values because they may differ than other people. C. Learn how to honor your values of others that may differ of your own. See the beauty of diversity. Once you see the beauty, it will open up and have you recognize and accept the beauty that actually resides in front of you. So this is, it's, it's special. It's, your potential is here. Opportunity is here. Love is here. Let the anger go if there's any anger. See your highest potential. Gain the wisdom. It's the enlightenment. You know, try not to veer off track. Focus all your energy on simply being. Let go of confusion, conflict. Something that was birthed that desire to. Clarity, concrete answers. The meaning of the purpose of your life. Okay. Um... It's feeling the freedom of being accepted. You know, it's basically saying you cannot move forward on this path unless you release the blame, the anger, the sorrow that's collected. This reminds me of the binky read I just did. Forgive yourself and those in your past. Okay, acceptance. Judgment came into place there too. With the ego, with the love. It's being aligned with your soul. What a relief. Don't try to control everything. That's exactly what was going down. These two readings should be marked the same, to be honest with you. I think I might put a banana next to each one. Only because it talks about a banana, right? But open your heart to the outside. Don't worry about judgment. You're very aware of your situation. It is, it's going after it, right? Um, and the innocence, it's been coming out. You know, it, it's you can prevail over the toughest times or whatever you're going through right now. You know, being soft, releasing what you need to release, being overly critical with yourself. It's, it's the experience from past situations, you know, that, that don't serve you anymore. It's a renewed peace, a situation, a job, a direction. Letting go of preconceived ideas of how something should be, you know, because that's still, still kind of the current moment troops. You know, so, and it's like, you know, the insight that's right now in this present moment, what you're going to be working on is your happiness, true happiness, acknowledging the phase in your life, acknowledging your consciousness, using your intuition, trusting the situation, following your intuition, balancing out situations, trusting them, you know. And then for the next couple months too, any day now, you know, they, you can't move forward with this one yet because you're still playing the blame game. There's still anger. There's still sorrow. You need to forgive. You need to move on. Love without judgment. 
or predetermined opinions. Accept, express what you feel. Align with your soul. Stop trying to control and fix everything. Because right here, you are aware. Be accepting of who you are. Laugh in life instead of being infuriated. You know? So this is pretty important. It's within you. You know? So the next couple months, you're working on your true happiness, your desires, what you want. Which is happiness. It's harmony. But don't worry about past situationships. Live now. Trust the situation. It's a beautiful read. Thank you, Ganesha. Absolutely love this deck. It's refreshing. You got the number one at the bottom of the deck too, guys. Okay? It's new energy. Opportunities. It's a new beginning. Significant. It's fresh. It's your path. Release the need to try to bring others into other visions too. Trust yourself without worrying what other people feel. Inspire yourself again. Creativity, finances, love, they're flowing right in front of you. I love you guys. Have a great day.